Today I'm gonna to make a cocktail that is served up in a coupe glass, and I'm going to need all 13 of these ingredients, and this is the simplified recipe. Today, we're gonna to make and drink a tribute to the Black Magic from the Mai Kai. We'll be making the Black Magic cocktail from the Atomic Grog. The drink is a slightly simplified version of the Mai Kai's Black Magic and served up in a coupe instead of a basketball-sized snifter with ice. It's important first for us to remember or just know that a lot of these things that we know about, tiki, tropical drinks, Polynesian pop, the culture around these things and the bars overall, things that we come by in forums and posts and videos like this one, these things are not prevalent because they are out there or widely known and written about. They were never just out there for the world to know. People had to find these things and document them. And if they didn't do that, when they did that, many, if not most of these things would have actually been lost forever. When it comes to the Mai Kai, there's a deep and rich history, much of which is covered and you can read in Jeff Berry books. The deepest dive into the Mai Kai though, is the Atomic Grog, which is the efforts of Jim Hurricane Hayward. So check out the Atomic Grog. Uh, they're even currently covering the renovation of the Mai Kai that's going on right now. And if you wanna know more about the Mai Kai and the cocktails there and how you can attempt to replicate those at home, then the Atomic Grog is really the place to go if you wanna find those cocktails. Now for this cocktail, you'll need some ingredients for this one including Angostura bitters, allspice dram, Mariano's mix number seven, orange juice, lime juice, fresh grapefruit juice, rich honey mix, freshly brewed and chilled coffee, dark Jamaican rum, gold Spanish style rum, and a dark rum. Now, according to Tom Grog, bottled ocean spray white grapefruit juice is preferred to fresh ruby red. If you watch the zombie video that I just did, I used a bottle of white grapefruit juice and didn't tell anyone. I personally have no attachment to fresh ruby red grapefruit juice. I don't particularly love grapefruit, so there's an easier way out there for me to do this and someone justifies it or prefers it and calls for it in a recipe, I'm gonna do that. So I'm using white grapefruit juice, equally hard to find. I had to go across town to a Rite Aid. No grocery stores near me carried them. So if you don't have that, then you could use fresh ruby red. But there's more to unpack with this recipe. Skipping the rums for now, Mariano's mix number seven is called out as falernum and a drop or two of herb saint. So I'm going to use a quarter ounce of falernum and a drop of Pernod. Chilled coffee, you'll wanna use a coffee that you like and something relatively fresh that is still chilled. So something that's not overly oxidized. Now the coffee is gonna be one of the things that differentiates this the most if you're making this at home. Uh, so many coffees are different. And I would argue that the coffee, I mean, I would, I think it's a fact, the coffee you have available to you today, especially specialty coffee, is going to be much better than the coffee that they would have had available at the Mai Kai 50 years ago. So go with a coffee that you like, but you do want to use something that's robust. It's just three quarters of an ounce. And if you have 12 other ingredients, you want to make sure that that stands out. Now for the rums. The Mai Kai would be using specific rums or rum blends, and historic Mai Kai recipes may call for a rum that no longer exists. The guidance here from Atomic Grog is Don Q for the gold Spanish style rum, for the one ounce of Jamaican rum to instead use half an ounce of Smith and & Cross and half an ounce of El Dorado 12. Now, if you don't have either of those two rums, then I would try to find something that is close to Smith & Cross, so a little bit overproof and Jamaican, and if you don't have El Dorado, just anything that is a Demerara rum. The dark rum calls for Bacardi Black, which I do not have, but Gosling's is the called out substitute, so I'll be using that. You should obviously use whatever you have. And remember, the, the rums here are not supposed to be the greatest rums in the world. The, the drink created is supposed to be similar to the black magic that you would find at the Mai Kai. So it is a tribute to the Mai Kais. This drink gets built in a drink mixer tin, but you can shake this if you don't have a drink mixer. I'm gonna start with one dash of Angostura bitters, half a teaspoon of allspice dram, quarter ounce of Mariano's mix number seven, which I'm using falernum and one drop of Pernod. 
half an ounce of rich honey mix, quarter ounce of orange juice, half an ounce of white grapefruit juice, half an ounce of lime juice, three quarter ounces of freshly brewed and chilled coffee, half an ounce of Smith & Cross rum, half an ounce of El Dorado 12, one ounce of Don Q Gold, and half an ounce of Gosling's Black Seal Rum. We're gonna flash blend for five seconds. It's not plugged in. You can even pick up your Make and Drink enamel pin, now available, limited time only, in the Make and Drink shop. There you go. The Atomic Garage tribute to the Mai Kai's Black Magic, the Black Magic Cocktail. All right, let's taste it. I'm having a hard time wrapping my brain around this one. I thought that the three quarters of an ounce of coffee would just get totally lost, but the predominant flavors I'm getting here are coffee and then the citrus flavors. So I've not made the Black Magic. This is my first time making either the Black Magic or the tribute to the Black Magic or any of the other tributes to the Mai Kai's Black Magic. I didn't really know exactly what to expect, but the coffee flavor is kind of predominant as well as those citrus, and you're getting a nice balanced sweetness there. The bitterness of the grapefruit comes through, but it's not overly bitter. It's hard to even tell that there's grapefruit, lime, and orange. It just kind of tastes like a robust uh, citrus flavor in a good way. And then there's, you know, 10 other things in there that I don't totally pick up individually on their own, but it does come together to make I think this is a wonderful, delicious cocktail. And when it comes to the rums, it's kind of the same thing. There's not one that stands out more than the other. The Smith & Cross isn't overpowering, nor is the El Dorado. The combination of all of those rums together, which we have, let's see, two and a half ounces, but it doesn't taste too rum forward. And I was curious how this would play as an up drink. Would it be too strong? It's not at all. Uh, this wouldn't be better. This version here would not be better with a lot of ice. And as we move into the colder months, it's I think it's 50 degrees where I am right now. I think it's 50 degrees in this room. I appreciate these as we get into the, you know, the, the height of fall and winter. I like to move towards up drinks. And if you're looking for an up tiki tropical drink, uh, this one does require you to have quite a bit of ingredients on hand, but I think it's all worth it. All right, that's it for this one. This was the Black Magic Cocktail, a tribute to the Black Magic from the Mai Kai, this tribute from the Atomic Rock. Go check out the Atomic Rock if you're interested in the Mai Kai or cocktails like this. I highly, highly recommend this cocktail if you've not tried it. Everything works together so well. It's delicious, it's refreshing, it's nice and boozy as well. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like below, consider subscribing to the channel and otherwise, See you in the next one.